Hey guys, what's happening? So Chrome is one of the most capable browsers that we can use today. And one of the best capabilities that it has is the sheer number of extensions that we can add to the browser. And well, that's what this video is all about. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the best and the most interesting Chrome extensions that we could find that will make your browsing experience even better. This is Gorang. you're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. First up, almost all of us use Gmail and we all know creating a table in an email is not the easiest thing to do. In comes Gmail tables. The name is as self-explanatory as it is simple. It adds a small button to the window where you write out all your emails. It is a small box with dots inside it. Clicking on it will make a prompt show up where you can add the number of rows, columns, add the headers and some other things. Once you click OK, the table will be created where you can enter the data needed. The cells resize automatically as per the data being written inside them. Additionally, this extension also enables you to create clickable buttons on your email that open other links. Pretty handy, right? All right, next up, let's talk about the people who let their Chrome tabs remain open because they might need it later. And well, this entire process leads you to only one thing. A ton of tabs open on your Chrome window, slowing down your PC or laptop just because all of the RAM has been hoarded away by Chrome. And there is a very simple solution to this particular problem with an extension going by the name of Tab Suspender. The extension automatically suspends any of the open tabs that have not been used for a specific period of time, which can be set by you. Whenever you need to use the tab again, all you need to do is open the tab and hit refresh. Talking further to my Chrome tab warriors, there must be a certain set of tabs that you open always whenever you start your work, be it for research or be it for anything. And well, I have an extension which will help you out a lot. The name of the extension is one tab and it lets you save lists of tabs that you have opened on your Chrome window so that you can quickly open the group of tabs and get back into your research later or whenever you want. You can also share this list of tabs easily in case you have other collaborators working with you. The extension not only helps you keep track of different tab groups, but also helps you keeping the number of tabs limited to exactly what you require. Next up, let's talk about building concentration. Now the thing is, wherever we are working, there can be some sort of background noise that can cause a disturbance while we're working. And playing some sort of white noise around you through speakers or headphones can help you drown out that background noise and concentrate better. And I have an extension that will help you out a lot with that too. The name of the extension is Noisly and it can play different white noises to help you concentrate better. It can play the sound of rain, a storm, a bonfire, wind, and many, many other things. You can even combine more than one sounds to create a layered sound design of white noise around you. And all of this happens simply and noisily. Get it? Next up, whenever you open a new tab on your Chrome window, you get a page which is having a specific background, which is of your choosing. It has a specific set of suggestions for your websites that you can open. It has a search bar, which you can use to search for things or open URLs. It's pretty handy, but it is also very basic. Enter Infinity New Tab. It is an extension which adds a comprehensive upgrade to the new tab page on Chrome. You can have multiple sites with customized icons for each site. You can put in your reminders into it. You can add notes to a very Evernote-like interface and you can also add your to-do lists. It removes the need of having another app for productivity apart from Chrome and the extension itself, all while making the process of opening a new tab simpler. Now let's talk about a feature that used to exist, but doesn't anymore. So whenever you used to search for something on Google Images, you used to get all of these results. And whenever you open one of these results, you used to have a button, which was the view image button. Clicking that would result in the image opening in its full size in a different tab. And through that tab, you could easily just download the image. And due to some reason, this button was removed and the entire process of downloading an image became very complicated. And well, the view image extension does nothing but add that specific button back to your Google image search results. Once the extension is all set up, all you need to do is click on the view image button for the image that you've searched for and you will be able to easily download the image you were looking for without any hassles of opening the image in the web page it was sourced from or downloading a smaller size of it. And lastly, even though this particular extension is very common, I just found it very useful so I included it in the list. And the name of the extension? 
is turn of the lights. It has a very simple job. Whenever you're watching a video anywhere, the extension fades away the entire page except the video being watched and making it more immersive and cutting out all the possible distractions. And the best part is, it works with most of the common streaming websites. And well, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the red subscribe button. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that to get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gaurang, and I'll see you in the next one.